We're often asked why we're so successful in athletics in terms of wins and losses. And I think part of it is frankly that we don't focus on the wins and losses. We really focus on the process. Chris Mason came to Williams in 1980. Well, I hear stories all the time from alumni about, and from parents about how much they love her and the students love her. She's just a, a tremendous gift to Williams. I had a little time off uh, in the early years when I was still competing on the U.S. field hockey team. I was on the 80 Olympic team and we boycotted, but I stayed on the team through the 84 Olympics and then we actually competed in Los Angeles. It was fun. We ended up with a bronze medal. Aaron Kelton has been a great addition to Williams and to our football program. His enthusiasm and passion for his athletes and for coaching are evident. I was a counselor uh, for, for the same MECO program that I was a part of uh, growing up. I uh, took a job at MIT. I, I accepted a job as, as uh, the defensive coordinator at Virginia State University, on to Columbia University, and then uh, accepted the job here at Williams as the head football coach. And as he talks about his coaching, he talks mostly about the development of, of these young men as people. And, and again, football is a vehicle for teaching those lessons. All of our coaches get their offer letter which says head coach of such and such and other duties is assigned. And mine is assistant field hockey. I love working with a field hockey team in the fall and love working with the lacrosse team in the spring. My second assignment was uh, softball uh, this past year and it, it, it was great, you know, getting to know the girls and, and the girls are, are my biggest fans right now for our team. I mean, they're at all the games and we see each other across campus and we're screaming and yelling at each other. Williams College is a vibrant community that has incredible diversity. With that is, it comes the excellence that we talk about. Athletics is important. I'm not going to sit and say it's not. It should be. It's no more important than the arts or, or some other program that's here on campus. Uh, it is to me because this is what I do professionally, but that's my thing. There are so many students with so many different interests, and even our athletes have so many different interests. That's why they didn't go Division I. They didn't want to focus only on their sport. They wanted to do a variety of activities. Our ability to, to affect change in, in, in all people on campus, uh, not just through athletics, is, is a major point of what we do here at Williams. We have a physical education requirement at Williams for a student to feel better physically, emotionally, you need to get out there and, and move around. More and more research shows that sort of athletic and physical health really impact your intellectual capabilities and engagements. We have a huge intramural program and it's just fun. I mean it's fun to get out there and play. Every single student comes through our department um, because of the physical education requirement and the swim test requirement that they all have. So we see everyone. One of the things that helps, I think, bring the school together around athletics and, again, trying to sort of break down any divides that might exist, is that you could be at Williams College and fulfill your PE requirement by being taught weight training by the head football coach. That's not going to happen many places, and you get to know him, and he, you know, he'll talk to you the same way he would talk to any of other his athletes, and be available to you as a resource. There's a level of expectation that, uh, around success uh, that that is fostered in, in in and out of the classroom and in everything that you do here. We have broad-based programming. We have 32 teams, so when we measure success in terms of wins and losses and in terms of things like the Director's Cup, which we won 13 straight times, it's the emphasis on teaching. We do have good teams. We've put together good programs with good coaches, and we've got good players who, who, who participate, and, and we strive for the same success that we have in the classroom on the athletic fields. So you put those two groups together, the coaches and these highly driven athletes, and you focus on teaching and you focus on process, and students get better in that setting, and then you win games. I don't, none of our coaches talk to their athletes about winning. It's the emphasis on teaching and, and helping students improve and helping really talented people reach their potential and, to, and beyond their potential or beyond what they think they can do. 
it's a learning environment e each and every day for all of the student athletes who, who participate in, in athletics here. They have the, the best professors in the world in their classroom and they expect nothing less when they come to practice. That's our classroom, the fields and, and uh, arenas, you know, our classrooms for us. We are faculty members at the college and therefore do get involved in the life of the college in general. But many of them serve as academic advisors and certainly as advisors to their students just on, on a more informal basis. And I tell my students 24-7, my cell phone's on and it's sitting on the bed table right next to me. If anything comes up and you need to talk to me, you want me, I am a minute from the campus. The students here, they're pursuing excellence in everything they do. They're high achieving, they're self-motivated, and they want a guide in that. And our coaches provide that guidance and wisdom and, and, and direction that they seek. When it works, it's, it's a marvelous thing, you know, it's really beautiful.